there are guidelines for gaining, keeping, spending, and expanding financial resources. The same set of success criteria that apply to the practice of medicine or the law also apply to finance. There are tactics for succeeding in business or athletics, as well as techniques to succeed financially. Let us take a look at the set of definitive principles governing the behavior of money. Before starting, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. So let's start. Number 1. Money is neutral. Money is neither good nor bad, rather, its value is determined by who uses it. Greedy people get even greedier, while generous people become even more generous when they have money. Although money itself lacks feelings, the love of money can result in greed. Number 2. If you hate money you will stay broke. If you despise money and believe it to be terrible or wicked, you will never be wealthy. People who believe money is bad will spend it right away because they have a deep-seated drive to get rid of what they believe is harmful. Money can be obtained through immoral means if it is loved, but it can also be obtained through wasteful means if it is hated. Number 3. Wealth is created through compounding. The secret to being wealthy is the capacity for capital or business development to compound. When returns are compounded on top of returns, growth is exponential. This also applies to corporate expansion or investments. The difference between a 10% return on $100,000 and a 10% return on the increased sum of $110,000 is $11,000. As the compounding is applied to the new total, money is being made here. As a growth rate is compounded on the expanded business size, company sales and earnings might increase in the same manner. Number 4. Money flows to those that know how to manage it. Money is transferred from people who are unable to manage it to those who can. Money moves from those who fritter it away to those who can make it flourish. Consumers spend their money on goods, services, and businesses that create value. Create goods that others will want to pay you money for if you want to be wealthy. Invest in expanding companies. Purchase rising value assets rather than decaying consumption products. Number 5. Entries and Exits. When you purchase an asset at a fantastic price based on its intrinsic value, such as a stock or piece of real estate, you will nearly always be able to sell it for more money. For speculative trades and property flipping, on the other hand, the money is only made when you sell the asset and can grab your winnings while they are still there. Making money requires good timing. Both the pricing and the deadline must be accurate. Number 6. Controlling yourself. The majority of personal finance is about self-control rather than numbers. Managing your fear and greed when investing can help you make the best choices. You will never be able to control your money if you can't control your own behavior. Number 7. Risk, Reward Ratio. The secret to gaining money and accumulating wealth is to weigh prospective risk and reward while making every financial choice. You want the return to outweigh all of your financial dangers. Your financial life should minimize the negative and maximize the positive. Number 8. Spend money on value. Spend your money solely on the things that are valuable to you and are worth it. Do not be thrifty or cheap with your personal finances, instead, maximize their value. Although you can't buy everything you want, you may get the items that will improve your quality of life the most. Don't fritter away your money, spend it carefully. Consider value. Number 9. Acquire cash flow not payments. If you choose to use debt, invest in cash generating assets rather than consumption goods. Instead of getting items through payments, create or purchase cash flowing assets that pay you. Anything that you receive income from is a long term asset, while anything for which you make payments is a current debt. Consider your assets. Number 10. Wealth mindset. Starting with the conviction that you can achieve money is the first step. To establish a business or investment portfolio and become wealthy, one must work hard and strategically, but this is only feasible with the proper wealth mindset. While having the appropriate mindset won't always result in financial success, having the wrong one almost always does. Number 11. Follow the money. Always follow the money when you want to know why anything is happening in business, entertainment, politics, religion, charities, or sports. In practically every circumstance you observe, things are developed and promoted with the intention of making money. Following the money from the final product back through the system can teach you a lot. Number 12. Model financial success. Find someone who has achieved the objectives you seek if you want to be financially successful, and study them in depth. Look at both their actions and their statements. Discover the secrets to their financial success, 
Then develop your own methodical approach to achieving your own objectives. Number 13. Design your own process for wealth building. Create a wealth building plan that suits your time constraints, risk tolerance, financial objectives, beliefs, and personality. To accomplish your goals, you must discover the procedure that works best for you. Number 14. Your friends and family can affect your finances. Your personal finances can be greatly impacted by the people you associate with because you can absorb their values from them. It's crucial to find people that share your values and way of thinking. It's also essential to read books and discover how people outside of your family see finances. Increase the number of like-minded individuals in your social circle and broaden your thinking by reading books written by role models. Number 15. You are your most important investment. Spend cash on yourself. Your most valuable possessions are your education, emotional well-being, happiness, and physical health. You should put time and money into learning, developing, exercising, eating healthily, and developing good daily habits if you want to be more successful in life as a whole. Long-term costs are lower for a healthy lifestyle than for an unhealthy one. Number 16. The power of leverage. Leverage is how wealth is made. Loans of other people's money are a source of financial leverage. Margin and option contracts provide the means of investing leverage. Mortgages are the source of housing leverage. Possessing people and maintaining control over assets give a business leverage. Leverage exponentially raises profits on your initial investment. One of the biggest financial mysteries that few people are aware of or comprehend is leverage. Number 17. Business Partnerships. Nearly all successful companies were developed through a cooperation between at least two individuals at the top. A business is often founded and built by two persons. Even Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak collaborated to establish Apple in its early years, and Warren Buffett enlisted Charlie Munger's assistance to scale Berkshire Hathaway. Business partnerships enable both parties to gain enormous advantages from one another's strengths and get over their respective deficiencies. Number 18. The Get Rich Quick Fallacy. Trying to make rich soon with dangerous bets is the quickest way to lose all of your money and go bankrupt. In an effort to make as much money as possible in the quickest amount of time, people who are greedy end up losing money. There is no such thing as easy money, much less rapid and easy big money because money doesn't operate that way. Even if they are fortunate enough to earn a large sum of money, most lottery winners discover that they are bankrupt because they lack the skills to manage it. Only those who correctly develop their riches are able to maintain it over time. Number 19. Risk Management. Your priority should be maintaining what you already have once you have money and assets. Although being wealthy may be the first objective, maintaining wealth must come second. You should always be managing your financial risk. Always have enough insurance on all of your possessions. Never take financial risks that could bankrupt you if they don't pay off. Never risk your entire farm in an effort to earn a few extra chickens. Number 20. Perseverance until the financial goal is reached. Truth be told, the majority of individuals give up and leave early rather than failing in their attempts to accumulate wealth. The best strategy for winning the money game is to simply keep playing. You should be slowed down by obstacles, not forced to quit up. All financial success tales of those who excelled financially share one thing in common. They never gave up on achieving their financial objectives. This is it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thanks for watching.